Hey everybody, it's Dave Judah, the Benia's Disease Warrior. How y'all doing? Um, I'm feeling a little bit better. Uh, the weekend has not been great. Um, I'll just say it has not. It's been uh, a lot of vertigo and squealing tinnitus. Uh, and the weather's going up and down, so I'm pretty sure that is. I can't wait till December 15th when I get to go see my ENT again. Because <laughs> I think my tube is blocked. I think that's half my problem. But... Last week, we were seeing, I was seeing posts in various groups um, about a drug that I think most of us have heard about, um, SPI-1005, uh, for the treatment of Veneer's disease. It is also known as Epsilon. Okay, and what it's supposed to do is, I did look it up a little bit. Um, what it's supposed to do is, it's supposed to help you're hearing in Menea's patients, the hair cells that die in our cochlear, um, it's supposed to regenerate it and, um, and lessen the tinnitus, okay, which is a good thing. Um, but what I've seen by looking up is that so far in the clinical trials, it's like helping 68%, which is good. But once that gets out in the public market, it's, it's probably going to decrease down to 50%. And, you know, 50% is better than nothing. And, um, you know, like many is disease. What works for me doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you. And what works for you doesn't necessarily is going to work for me. And that's the craziness of this disease. And that's why it's so hard to find a medication that'll help us, a surgery that'll help, or anything for everybody. So, you know, one thing that works for everybody. It, it, it's hard. But here's the thing is, the person wasn't asking about Epsilon. They want to get Epsilon. It's in clinical trials. You're not getting it. Unless you're part of the trial, you're not getting it. Okay? There is no pharmacy in the United States who has this. Um, I don't know what country you're from, and I doubt it's even available worldwide. Okay? In the United States, the FDA regulates every medication. Okay? And these medications aren't, um, you can't just go to the FDA with your own test work and say, here, this is what it does, approve it. No, it doesn't work that way. The FDA is gonna do their clinical trials and go through their clinical things. And the company, you know, they're monitoring the company. So they, what really happens is like, I used to have Bristol Myers Squibb as an account, and it was some medication in 2011, um, that they were trying that they were getting trying to get approved and what happens is is the fda goes to bristol myers squibb bristol myers squibb and they monitor all the testing and this and that and they observe everything then they do their own things okay and when they're in there observing everything that could take up to two years okay and that's just the beginning you know then they go through the clinical trials and that can take anywhere from two to four years okay then they have to go through, they do their thing at the FDA, take another two to three years. Then they go back to the company, and this is how I know, because they had to spend a month at Bristol Myers Squibb to make sure all the copiers were working. The FDA goes into Bristol Myers Squibb, goes through everything all over again, copies everything, foot ding, 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 and that report that they do after that final clinical stage, it takes another two years before it's approved. So it takes a long time. They've been working on this for a long time. This is not something that came out overnight. Okay, they've been working on this for years, and it, you know it really. They start and they started recruiting people for this Epsilon in 2020, December 21st, 2020, is when they started recruiting people just for the clinical trial. Okay, they was working on it way before then, but it's just the clinical trial. And this is not coming out until, if it does get approved, and that's a big if, until late 2023 is the earliest. Uh, I'd probably say maybe somewhere in 2024, but probably not till 2025, if it comes out at all. So you're looking at still another two years two to three years before this thing even hits the market and it's probably 
to be honest with you, it's probably been bouncing around for five years as it is, six years as it is. So yeah, these drugs don't come out overnight. Not, it's not like like COVID kind of got a lot of the the, the vaccine vaccinations got a little bump because they were in the middle of a pandemic. That's why it happened. So you know, do your research on it. You know, I mean, two years from now, if it comes out, you can ask your doctor about it. Um, if you want to go on it, but for now, stop asking if where you can get it because you can't. Not in the United States. Okay, I just don't want to see somebody you know is all worked up and happy about a medication that might not even come out. Okay, it would be great if it does, but you know, let's let's be realistic right now. Okay, it's a clinical trial. It's not coming out anytime soon. So please stop asking for it. Okay. Whoever it is, stop asking for it. Okay. So on that note, um, yeah, we'll end the video, I guess. Um, yeah, because really nothing too much with me except for tinnitus and stuff. So, um, and that's it. We'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.